Clubhouse has been fun lately, right? Yes. Been Dude, not, not just fun, but like, I mean, there's been some some extreme value, right? Yes. Yeah, it's been it's just been so good. People have been dropping bombs. People have been asking questions. People have been, people have been answering questions. Like people are asking me questions that I would they would never get a chance to ask me. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm yeah. having Christian Brindle ask me questions. Where I'm like, man, I would normally charge like 10 grand for this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Clubhouse, so it's free. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, Grant Cardone was in there like I was I was trying my best to avoid it. I've actually got I've actually got two phones now. One is for Clubhouse, one is for phone calls. And uh I just deleted everything off of this phone except for Clubhouse. That's and hard. uh and so I'm trying to avoid it the other day, right? Because it can be addict. That app can really consume you. Uh, you can spend some time in there. So I'm trying to ignore the thing. And I keep getting notifications that Grant Cardone is in this room. Then Grant Cardone's in that room. And I'm like, man, I just got to jump into some of these things. And dude, he sits there. What You know what he charges for a one-hour, one-on-one session, right? 25 grand. What is it like? I was going to say 25 grand, right? Well, I mean, I had a freaking one hour session. It might not have been one on one, but I had a one on one or a, a session for one hour listening to him talk about just, you know, anything and everything. So it's uh, it's been it's been crazy. Brad Lee was on there. Tim Story's on there. Cody Askins is on there. All of these guys. And uh, and it's been, you know, extremely valuable. So what would you say you see uh, like kind of the future with when it comes to insurance, how that could how that could help insurance agents? I mean, it gives them a platform to network, to build relationships, to meet people. It, yeah. I mean, it gives them a chance to to get around big time people that they would never like. They would just watch. Like people are coming up all the time on Clubhouse, um, you know, saying, "Dude, I love your YouTube videos, man. What, what what do you think about this? What would you do here? How would you do this? You know?" And it's like, dude, a lot of times too, most people don't realize it's not like I've personally went through the situation of what they're asking me. A lot of times that's true, but just from hanging out with people like you. And, and Justin and my dad and Landon, other people, I'm learning at a much faster pace than most people because of the people that I have in my life, the conversations I have on a daily basis, the people I listen to, the the, the private briefings we do like for yeah. new ideas. Like I'm learning at such a rapid pace because of the environment and the killers that I talk to on a daily basis. Dude, isn't it isn't it crazy how when you get moving like that, like you you, you tend to just forget about anything that is uh, like like those limiting beliefs and the you know the things that could hold you back or the distractions just become so much smaller. Like it's like you're moving further away from it, right? Like so, like you're in a, an airplane and houses look so tiny, man. Like you, you look down and and you can't even. It just looks like a speck. And that's the way. Like when you get moving so fast, like I, I walked out. I walked out of the office today and I said, who, who normally sits there? And everyone started cracking up. Cause I'm like, I, I didn't know who sits. I like, I mean, Hey man, I didn't know if someone moved seats or whatever. And I only have like 10 agents in the office. It's not like we have a hundred agents. I should, you know, I, I, I joke. Right. But I, I know what's going on, but it's like those little things that aren't really important, just aren't really important. You know what I mean? Like what's important is the fact that, Man, we're That's we're doing awesome. big things. I want to be in on ac- asking acquisitions. I want to be able to drop seventy five grand. I want to be, and so I've got to move. I've got to keep moving, yeah. and I got to stay away from the things that could potentially hold me back. So it's been uh, yeah. it's been incredible. I don't know what deal I'm going to close today, but you might have saw my story earlier, dude. I just I'm just going to cl- I'm going to close a big deal. Like someone's got money. That I, that that's my money, right? Who's got my money? And I know somebody's got it. So if you're on this, if you're watching this and you got money, let me know. They do. They got <laughs> that. The, 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 just everybody. Uh, Brad's gonna put his Venmo in chat, and then we're all just gonna bang bang on him and send him some money. Uh, do, it. do it. I need it. You've earned I need it, it, right? I, I mean, you've earned, it. you've earned it. I need it, man. I bought I bought fifty tickets to Eight Percent Nation. Right? They're selling out quick. I actually probably have most of them spoken for. That's um, great. but, but man, I've got tickets to 8% well, nation. I want to bring 50 people there. I want to get that. I want to get those spoken for. And then I want to buy 50 more. Like, I, can, I, I can tell you people listening need to freaking hit up Brad for a ticket because why? Because you get access to lunches both days with speakers. You get access to VIP party, um, on Friday night, you get access to a premier seat. Uh, and if you come to me, I'm going to charge you, um, 
$650. Brad's probably not going to charge you $650. $649, baby. $649 through me. Maybe maybe the 50 cents as well. And what you forgot too is they get access to my event that I'm hosting, right? Which will be, you know, it'll be a brief event, not to take away, but to add in a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of a twist. And also the breakout session, right? If you buy the ticket from me, you have to come to my breakout session, period. Like you can't go to, you can't go to Pete Fournier's because there won't be room in there anyways. Uh, it'll be a packed house and I'll, I'll need a few, uh, a few of you guys in my breakout session. So uh, I'm excited about that, man. This is just, it's been too fun. Um, I always go back to the first conversation that we ever had where I was like, man, you know, I don't know what exactly I, I'm going to do next, but like, I know that I don't want to be like coaching and training agents like you. Uh, I'm like, I, I just, I like what I do, but like, dude, this is so fun. It's just, it's being that promoter, right? Which I guess like you would be you you would you would label yourself as a, a promoter, right? Like you're you're a phenomenal trainer, but like you 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 promote really really well. And dude, promoting is so fun, right? Because it's like blast. It's stuff you believe in too. We were talking about events actually on Clubhouse yesterday, and how uh, impactful they are and things. And you know, Pete was Pete was even saying like, you know, I used to. There's a lot of people actually, but Pete was one of them that used to believe that events were just you know, full of fluff and hype and, you know, whatever, but now he doesn't miss them. Like he, he understands the importance of events and it, it's, it's just unbelievable. It's crazy how that that's actually the case too, because I think I used to be a little bit of that person. Now we're not only throwing them, but I'm attending them. And I'm telling you, you want whoever's watching right now, you want your whole business to freaking change. You want your mindset to level up. You want to meet incredible people and you want your income to grow, right? Yes, 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 yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming to an event will do that for you. Trust me. 100%. 100%. You know what else will do that for you? Spending a bunch of money that you don't really have. I, I love, that's my favorite. That's my favorite uh, yes. like income hack is just like spend it. Spend it anyways, right? Like Grant says, yeah. like, hey, man, I just can't afford it. I know you can't afford it. I wouldn't be able to afford it either. Just buy yep. it anyways. Like, just do I'm it. Actually, I'm actually going into an, a, a, here in uh, about 26 minutes. I'll probably have to leave-ish, 30 minutes, whatever. I'm going to invest 100 grand into a rental property. Oh, we're at Florida, right? I wish. Um, this is just a local property here, like 30 minutes from Springfield, but it'll it'll cash flow from day one. So it's and it's already got a it's already already got like all uh, all the renters are already in it paying. Wow diversification is it multifamily this one is i'm looking at a few different ones i'm looking at a house i'm looking at 10 units i'm looking at some different ones but i think my wife's wanting to start with a single family home that she can flip just to do it okay. so i'm like i don't care i'll give you the 100 grand you do whatever you want i don't yeah so. yeah and what else are you doing uh you're, you're pulling a bunch of cash out of the bank here soon right What's that for? Tell us about that. Always, right? I, I need more money. Is yeah, yeah, uh, right. There's some stuff I want, man. Um, I love Devin said that. By the way, that's right. That's a big. That's big. Uh, I want this year. I, I want to invest in a bunch of rental property. I want to acquire some insurance agencies. Yeah, but what specifically are you getting the cash out? How much cash are you taking out? And oh. what are you going to do with it? Oh, the $117,361, right? You heard it here first, all $117,000. Yes, I'm going to I'm gonna shoot um, some promotional ads. I've also got a book coming out called Zero to Six Figures. So I'm going to use that as a tie-in to the book. Beautiful. And, um, and yes, we're taking $117,000 out of the bank. We're putting it in a briefcase. It takes some time to get that kind of cash, which is weird to me, but whatever. Um, <laughs> and then... Um, we're going to shoot ads and videos about how every insurance agent, every person on the planet can go from zero to six figures. And this is what it looks like. Yeah. Right. All that cash. When are you filming that? Cause I'll have to come up, man. I might just sneak out with a couple dollars. That's what I thought. Um, <laughs> May, uh, uh, April the 5th. Oh, wow. I'll be in North Carolina that day. April the 5th. Close. One, one and a half weeks from today. Right on, man. Hey, if you love this video, you're gonna love, okay, I got behind the scenes with Jordan Belfort at our conference about how he can help new agents and what he would do if he was you. Check that video out. You have to get them 
into the habit of dialing or out. It's got to be top of the funnel. Mm -hmm. People are scared to dial the phone, mm -hmm. scared to go to 